Hello everybody and welcome to Benjamin Magnus Plays Europa Universalis 4 Mandate of Heaven. Now, Mandate of Heaven adds a lot of uh, new functionality to the game as well as uh, kind of refocuses uh, how Japan and um, China work. And I, I've been going back and forth about who I wanted to play in this series and I settled on somebody really, really small. I am uh, Shimazu Satsuma? Province names is Satsuma. The name of the um, the nation is Shimazu. 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 I'm not sure where the, the where the emphasis goes on that actually, but Shimazu. Uh, and I wanted to play someone small because I didn't want to kind of steamroll through Japan super quickly. Like a couple of these um, uh, daimyos, uh, uh, um, Usugi, um, Hosokawa. I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of this stuff right. Are uh, Yamana, um, Ouchi, and I think there's one or two others. Uh, Shiba, Shiba. Uh, some of them are start out pretty large. I didn't want to start out as one of the large ones. I really wanted to struggle into it. But um, the Age of Discovery is the new mechanic for the game, and it's basically a series of uh, bonuses and goals for your country as you go through the ages and uh, aid the ages trip uh, I think it tells you right here age of reformation which is the next one will start 120 months after Protestantism is enabled so on and so forth global trade and enlightenment but there's lots of cool things um, this is stuff that these are I'm not entirely sure how it works because I haven't been following the dev diaries but uh, I know you have Splendor, which is kind of a currency you can spend on um, bonuses and things like that. Let's see. Uh, 800 to purchase. I have zero. But let's see. That's Unrest minus five. Aggressive expansion impact. Transfer subject as a uh, option in the war. Uh, in the peace deals after a war. Uh, improved war tax. Uh, war, war tax cost minus 100%. Interesting. Does that mean you can raise war taxes without actually having to pay the, like, 50 military power points for them? Hang on. Because that would be in here. Uh, let's see. Declare bankrupt. Voluntary, voluntarily being able to declare bankruptcies in here. That's pretty cool. Reduce inflation. Raise war tax. Yeah, base cost 50. So, I, I mean, but the way I'm reading this is that you'd be able to do that for free. This one's pretty cool. Cav armies. Uh, cav to infantry ratio of 20%. That'd be really cool for any of the, the nations that reply on, like, really high cavalry um, efficiency. And this is settle uh, no the high, higher developed colonies, one tax production and manpower. So that's plus three dev for every colony when it finishes. That is going to be super super important for colonial uh, nations. Um, I really want to do a Ryuku playthrough soon. I'm never going to be able to min max it quite like a Roomba can or Quill, but I mean it's still fun. What do we got here? Adaptive combat terrain plus one combat bonus in terrain. Uh, that your capitals and that's pretty cool and these ones are specific so Ottomans uh, siege ability Portugal 50 global settler increase that's huge Denmark Liberty desire and subjects minus 30% so that'll try to keep um, Norway and Sweden under your boot and who's this last one Venice ship trade power 50% that's pretty cool but we're gonna figure out kind of figure this stuff out as we go as it sits right now we are a nine dev province oh this is new so this is, oh, my bad, here we go. So, uh, Southern Kyushu, Kyushu's the small island here. This is info for the whole state. Oh, edicts, that must be new. Institution spread, monthly autonomy change, defensiveness. And I can encourage development uh, at least for increases state ma- Oh, you pay an increase in state maintenance to do that, it looks like. That's cool. That is really cool. I like that. Missionary... Yeah, that's really cool. And then there's information. We got unrest, fort level, devastation. Devastation is going to be something that's definitely going to uh, play a part in the game. Devastation basically means that when militaries... I know we've just been talking about features of this, but we'll, we'll start playing soon. Uh, when militaries march through the land, they devastate the place. They fuck it up, and it stays fucked up for a long time. But anyway, we need some rivals, so the Edo... Uh, right off the bat, I know them. I don't. I, I don't know a lot about um, the Sengoku Jedi. 
uh, the, the, this period of conflict in Japan right now. So I'm probably going to be pronouncing a lot of this stuff pretty incorrectly, but hopefully I don't butcher it too bad for my Japanese viewers. So, like, these uh, Shoni... These guys kind of like me. So, Otomo, that's them. Let's let's say, go fuck yourselves, Otomo. And Kona. Kono. Kono is... Right there. Yeah, let's tell them. And then what we'll try to do is Shoni. We'll try to get Shoni on our side. So, relations, improve relations. Cool. Um, and then why don't we... Over, build a spy network here. I'm not exactly sure how this whole Japan thing is going to fly, but we're going to we're going to try. Oh, my merchants haven't been auto set to some place, uh, so we are in the um, uh, nip and trade node. So we're definitely going to collect from trade here, just because I mean we don't have any trade. We we don't have any trade power, so nothing we do is going to be of much import here. So, and then I guess we'll. Oh, you know what? Maybe they were auto set to do stuff. Our overlord Ashikaga has enacted forcibly expel Ronin. Uh, Liberty desire minus five hundred percent for ten years. So right off the bat, the bat. Um, oh shit! Uh, we have gained the humiliate rival against the Atomo, the Ido, and the Kona, all of our rivals, of course. Uh, an alliance suffered from uh, Kiku Kik Kikuchi, Kikuchi. That's these guys right here, I believe. Yeah. So let's. Oh, can we can we marry? No diplomat to send. Let's pull this guy back for now. Uh, let's see. Proof of Bushido code. Army tradition of twenty five percent stability at least one. That's easy. The rice growing. The rice sowing, not growing. Season draws near. While our realm remains mired in political instability and our roads plagued by highwaymen, we cannot hope for more than meager harvests. Restore our stability and let us again taste the fresh whiffs of the seasoned sake. So, let's see. It's been a little while since I played that. Ooh, ooh, that's all new. Hang on. Pause this. What is this? Isolationism. Isolation represents, or represents a nation's willingness to adopt ideas and technologies from abroad. It can range from open doors to level 0 to closed doors, level 4. Your current isolation level is adaptive, level 1. Development cost minus 10%. Institution spread up 10%. So it seems like... Hmm, there's, I mean, there's got to be a negative impact to... Because everything in this game is it's, it's cost-to-benefit kind of thing. There's got to be a, a reason... To not to, to want to close the doors, and I'm I, I would imagine it would have to be be uh, religious. So right now we have a bunch of possible incidents. Uh, Shushigaku. Uh, well, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Ikoiki. Uh, Oko. Oko pirates. Urbanization. Well, let's let's look at this. This is it looks like it'd be the first one. Neo Confucianism is not new to Japan. It spread from China to the Kamakura uh, in the Kamakura period, and many aspects of Chinese and wider Eastern Asian culture it quickly took root. Its rationalistic outlook is above all very well suited to strengthen the authority of the ruler and or to encourage its development in Japan. It might create a stronger principle for controlling our people. Interesting. That sounds. Good. Uh, armies. I have 2,000 men to my name. I have a couple of these guys. We're going to mothball them. We are going to protect trade here. Just get whatever we can get out of it. Uh, our, we, our merchant right there is going to need to go to Girin. Uh, it will arrive in three days. What are you talking about? Oh. It's out of range. Well, uh, that's the only one upstream from us. So the only thing else to do would be to collect, like go to go to Beijing and collect trade. I don't think I'll get anything from there. Well, it'll be like a tiny like .02 or something like that. Probably. I guess it could. Oh, .12. That's actually a little bit more than I expected. Okay, I'm really looking forward to uh, at least trying 
uh, Ryuku playthrough off screen. If you guys don't, I, I sometimes I take for granted. Some people might not know what I'm talking about. These are the Ryuku Islands right here. Um, most Americans would know it as um, the, the large one of the larger ones is Okinawa. Uh, but there's this famous EU4, well, famous in the community EU4 um, uh, achievement called Three Mountains, where you have to conquer every single province on the map as Ryuku. And Ryuku is easily in is one of the weakest nations and one of the most difficult starting locations in the game because it starts off. Well, actually, I, I thought it only started off with three. I thought it was one, one, one. I thought it was a three dev province. It looks like it's five dev. So I don't know if that maybe the AI upped it a little bit. Um, but anyway, uh, it's just, it's difficult because there's nowhere to expand. Um, Ming's right there. Korea's right there. You can't touch Japan with any, anywhere in Japan without every. Uh, every single um, nation, in, you know, sub-nation, daimyo, um, I don't know, even know if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, in Japan, dogpiling on you, um, you can't read, there's, you can't reach a lot of things, and uh, the beginning of the game is a lot of just kind of waiting for your power to accrue so that you can pick on other people, and every single time a, a uh, an expansion comes out, a DLC, it changes changes that up like I I got pretty good at playing Ryuku I, I was no like Quill or Roomba I couldn't I, I, I I'm, I'm not good at microing and and meditating the game uh, hard enough to really you know do the whole thing but I got it so I got to the point where in like before 1700 I controlled all of south the southeast pacific um starting to move up um uh like around the coastline into like Vietnam here I had moved all the way up through here um I controlled all of Japan I controlled uh, a lot of these, a lot of this area up here, all of the coastline, most of South America. Um, so I was okay at it. But anyway, we got it. We should. I should really stop. I should. I digress. I should start uh, dealing with some of this stuff in here. What does our income look like? And what does our military look like? Uh, we have a. Well, this is a little different, isn't it? It looks like there's more information on here. Land force limit of three. So I can bring in... A... Oh, that would put me at a 50% ratio. Can I have more than 50? Okay, so I can put that in. Okay, let's bring him in. And I'm hoping... Uh, let's see. Let's... Royal ma let's do that. Royal marriage. Oh, wow. Okay. Got a new, a new queen. And then in August... We'll send our diplomat out to improve relations. It's going to take a while. Visiting a shrine. Boom. Uh, it's been a long time since last we visited the principal shrine in one of our provinces. The shrine is located off the beaten track on top of a mountain said to be the abode of a very powerful kami. Normally we've gone there at least once every year, but it has been a while now. The attendants are expecting us. Should we go visit the shrine? No, not this year. Gained admin power, lose prestige, and legitimacy. Or, yes, it is time. Lose ducats, gain prestige. I'm going to go. At least get the prestige in the positive. Uh, it's... Oof. It is decaying out. Does prestige decay out faster? I don't remember decaying out at, uh, at 0.25 when it was that low. I actually thought I remembered it. Oh, maybe well, my legitimacy is high. Hmm. Maybe it's because I don't have any positives to balance it out. Ah, tea. English breakfast tea with a little bit of lemon. Uh, it's. I think it's pretty cool that a lot of the, the unit models all have different colors. I think some of them actually have different models. Ah, they look all the same. Do the... Uh, uh, Ashikaga? I don't see their, their military. That's the actual shogunate. You know what I haven't looked at? My go uh often show oh you know what? I haven't hired any advisors, but I can't I can't afford any. Um Damn, a powerful territorial vassal in Japan ruling their hereditary lands under the Shogun. Uh country can take over the Shogunate and become the overlord of all Daimyo uh, subjects by taking the province of Kyoto. Morale of armies ten percent, infantry combat ability ten percent, that's pretty good. I have no country, uh, well, no important country mo modifiers right now. Uh, Kyushin uh, is the only uh, culture in my land. And if I go here, uh, Shimazu Ideas, 
Uh, so, uh, traditions give us infantry combat ability 10%, yearly army tradition decay minus 1%, and then once we finish out the track, we get national tax modifier of 10%, and down the line we have morale of armies 10%, uh, manpower recovery speed 15%, production efficiency 10%, discipline 10%, land fire damage 10%, trade steering 20%, tech cost 5%, early westernization, that's pretty cool. Um, so I think this is going to be pretty interesting. I think it's going to be a slow roll at first because it's going to take us some time to get into power. Uh, but first things first, what I want to do is um, boost that. Boom, because that gives us the race sowing season. And watching the cherries blossom have prestige of at least 50. Uh, army tradition of at least 25. So this is prestige 50. Prestige 50. And this is 100. Admin. 15 Prestige. I mean, both of them are hard to do, so I think I'm going to do Bushido. <laughs> All of those are kind of difficult to do at this point in the game with a tiny, tiny little nation. But I don't think I could declare war. Oh, I can't. Re re oh, I have Reconquest. Sengoku. So the Otomo clan would join them. I could we, we we could do it. Uh what kind of leader do we have as our ruler? A one two one. And hills, woods, woods, and grasslands. So it'd be it'd be two on two. It would be one hundred percent even. It would be one hundred percent even. Uh, so I don't feel like that is going to work for me. So I'm going to bring in, especially because I'm going to—I would have a negative one here if I attack them. So what can we do? What, what, let's take a look at the CB. So reconquest—that's—that's uh, that's normal. We should expand our influence in the shogunate by seizing land from a neighboring clan. Does not. Owe me favors, but if I do that, they'll join me. I can bring them in. What about these guys? Can I get another alliance? Let's get another alliance. And then... They will not join me. I think I could do it, uh, as if I have the, the, the more infantry. I mean, I'm not going to be able to keep that for long, because that's going to put me over my cap. But I could get lucky. Yeah, that really shatters my economy there. But we're going we're gonna to try this out. And we're just going to march right in there. Oh, they rolled a better general than me. That sucks. And I'm also roll Onin War. Uh, Shizanju gets Sengoku Jidai uh, for 30 years, giving the following effects National Army Tradition Decay. So, they rolled a much better general than me, and they're rolling better in the battles. And we lost. Well, that's unfortunate. We'll try again. <laughs> that's really... So what did they roll? Uh, uh, let's see. A 3-3. Three, three. Yeah. Kind of... This is... Woods. So no matter what, we're gonna be... Uh... In the hole here. In terms of rice crop fails, that's bad. There goes my money. Can, uh, friendlies can attach. Okay, so. Taking a loan for four ducats. Gotta get this, gotta get those seven, seven thousand men up. And we're already out of money. <laughs> Come on, we can do this. There we go. 
All right, if they go into the grasslands, then I think we're okay. Come on, get those last uh, couple men in there. We need every every man we, we, we can. All right, we'll leave the last 15 off. So this is going to come all down to the rolls. So three to three. Six to uh, five. We're, so we rolled better, but we're still doing worse. Seven to one. That's a good one. Nine to six. Hey, we won. All right, now we just march after them and see if we can stack wipe them. Because that's as far as they can go, I think. Do we are we gonna have enough money to no they can go further than that. Traveling minstrel, gain one stability, I'll take it. We do have enough men. I honestly didn't think they'd be able to go any further than that. But now we just need to siege this bitch down. And we are going to drive ourselves into lots and lots of loans of debt. Take out a loan. Oh, where'd those guys come from? Oh, no, I'll accept it. Edo. They must have gone around on their ships or something. But that's fine, because we stack wiped them. Okay, that's uh, fine. Alright, yeah, we're actually no. Um, split this in half. Now, uh, merge, detach, siege. Uh, let's see, where is it? Um, oh yeah, that's fine. Just make sure there's somebody there. I want to make sure we stack wipe these guys. Good. And then we'll go back and we'll take out one and then we'll take out the other. Oh, those loans are going to be rough. Because that's got to really knock uh, our economy out. But what we... Well, how many men do we need? I, I What I really need to do is uh, go like this. There we go. There we go. Alright, now let's speed five this. And hopefully we can steal money from them and pay back those four ducat loans. Thankfully, they retreat. It looked like the it's Satsuma there. It looked like they were actually going to win the battle, but they retreated away from it. Lawgiver, monthly autonomy change minus five percent. Traveling monk, oop oop oop. Good harvest. Take ooh. I can't say no to admin points. I can't say no to ducats though. Ducats come and go, but admin points are like a hard a hard currency there. Oh, are we devastating this place? Yeah, so it's a straight-up modifier, it looks like. 10.55% devastation minus 10.5% of, uh, like, institutions. Yeah, you can really... Is there a... There's a devastation map mode, isn't there? Let's see. I don't know where it would be. Federations? Um... There it is. Yeah, look at the devastation. Yeah. So I mean, if you if you're talking about um, integrating people, uh, you know, trying to get get their land, you know, if you want to take it, not destroying it is probably a good thing for you. Oh, I thought they were actually going to siege it for a hot second. Yay, Bushido code. Didn't actually think I'd get it that easy, but I did. All right, now we got to siege this down. Uh, yeah, you can recall that. Atomo wants out. Ten percent of their income. Fifty ducats. But no, I'm sorry. Uh, you're not getting out of this with just a little bit of money. I'm definitely annexing this son of a bitch. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't bother bringing up my navy because A, I didn't think I could afford it, and B, I didn't think it was a big deal. Loyal Samurai. Several Samurai in service uh, have served us long and faithfully. Tradition dictates that this 
Uh, cast and most loyal warriors must be rewarded by their master. Yeah. I know. I took out one, two, three, four, five loans of four ducats apiece. Not a big deal, though. Uh, can we blockade this, actually? Can one ship do it? Oh, shit. I forgot they still had a navy up. Hey, he survived. Not a big deal. We're just going to speed five through this. At least get one pro at least get our first war done in the first uh, episode of the game. National epic. Eh, yeah, I'll take it. By using the Sengoku Jidai, we should be able to Oh, please tell me I did Sengoku Jidai. Conquest, yeah, okay. I definitely think grabbing that extra, going over my force limit for the beginning of the war was a good idea. Criminal recently arrested in our native uh, in our native Han has acquired a fair amount of popularity amongst local peasants for uh, resisting supposedly corrupt tax collection. So we can execute. Ooh. Hang on a sec. We already got a prestige up to thirty-five. There are no missions available. The other ones for prestige went away. So I'm going to take the. Uh, PowerPoints. Oh. Well, that's bullshit. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. What happened to our... Okay, some of the guys left and our siege withered. Oh, we got it. Okay, cool. Pause. Friends in need. The queen of our illustrious Lord Sen recently brought us uh, a request from her family that house Kikuchi of Kikuchi. Um, I just got 50, so that's still net, uh, net more. So let's see, net 25. Yeah, you're going to give me all your money. War reparations. I promised them land, didn't I? What happens if I don't give it to them? Yeah, I guess we'll see. Uh, treaties, war reparations. This is a Tomo. Yep. It's on that. All right. We're going to repay these for the tune of 22 ducats. We are going to go here. Boom. That. Give me your money. And uh, that's going to be it. Boom. Okay. So that's that. So I, I told them I would give them war. And then didn't uh, give them give them war. Give them land in the war. Then didn't do it. It doesn't seem to have uh, adversely affect our relationship. So that worked out. How's the devastation here? Ten and a half percent. That's about what it was in uh, Bungo 2. I'm pretty happy with that. I guess he's going to Beijing. Um. Yeah. Diplomats are free. Let's, uh, did we marry? No, we didn't marry anybody off over here. I basically want to want to make sure that I control um, Kyushu, and that I can push past it on uh, on Kona or Uchi here. Uh, and please forgive me if I'm pronouncing this stuff wrong. There's a very good possibility that I am. Now, if we go to uh, Ashikaga, um, I wonder. I was wondering if there's anything over here that we could do. Anything special over here? But my goal is basically to become the most powerful daimyo in the south, Kyushu, before we, we move on to, uh, oh god. What the hell's the name of this island right here? One that Hosokawa's on. It's on the tip of my tongue. Oh, I'm gonna catch hell for that. Looks like there is definitely a lot of conflict going on. Everybody's at war. Everybody's trying to 
um, gather their uh, gather their power. Cannot afford an advisor, unfortunately. And oh, my heir's only sixteen, and he's a three four three. That's not bad at all. Okay, so I think that was a pretty good start. We have a nice little bank of power points that we can use for some of this doodle without too much difficulty. I wonder if we want to go colonial. I know it seems counterintuitive, but I could always try to get colonialism to fire in Japan. That'd be cool. It'd be a little suboptimal, but anybody who's watching this channel should know that I don't play games to, uh, to meta and micro. I generally uh, set myself weird goals. Um, oh, I can't remember. I think I, I, I went colonial as Poland in one of my first series. Oh, that was fun. Uh, but don't we have to core this? Let's see. So this is 7 dev, 9 dev. Does everybody have claims? Uh, this could, a core province. Maybe does does that CB make you not have to core the wait? No, that's Yamana. Does I wonder if the Sengoku Kuchi uh, CB makes you not have to core the land? That would really make thing. That would really change things up in here because that's a lot of free admin points. But anyway, we're just about out of time here. So thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you have enjoyed this so far, and I will see all of you next time.